Hello everybody, Timothy Bailey with Project Learn and our video for today. And we're going to jump in quick. We have a lot to cover and we are talking today about meat. Let's go ahead and start by looking at some general types of meat. And here we're looking at sort of the most popular meats in the United States. The big three are these guys, right? We have a cow and a chicken and a pig. Two of them, however, when we're talking about the meat, we have to use a different word. Right? For example, if you go to the grocery store, you're not going to see the word cow. You will see beef. Right? So anytime you see beef, you know you're talking about this guy here, a cow. Chicken. Right? Have you seen chicken at the grocery store? Yes. So chicken doesn't change. It's the same for the animal and the same for the meat. Pig. Have you ever seen the word pig at the grocery store? No. So we have another word, and that word is pork. Okay, so these are the big three. The last one, there are four sort of general types of meat. The last one is seafood. And this includes a lot of things that live in the sea or the ocean. One of those things is fish, right? Perhaps the most popular. Now they don't have to live in the sea or the ocean. Fish live in rivers and lakes as well, particularly in Ohio, since we don't have the sea. Right? But fish are part of sort of water food. That's what seafood means. Another kind you might see, crab. Right? Crab. And a similar sort of uh, food that we eat is lobster. Right? Lobster. And both of these, we sort of crack them open after we cook them, and we get the meat out and eat it. Now, seafood also includes a group of food called shellfish. And if you or your family have been to the beach, you probably know what a shell is. A shell is this little house that this animal lives in. This animal, right, clams, there are a bunch of them, right, in their shell. Another shellfish, oyster, right, oyster. This oyster, or oysters in general, are most often eaten without being cooked. You can see they're in their shell with the ice here. Another one, my favorite, are scallops, right? So scallops, here's the, the big piece of white meat of the scallop, right? And you can cook them. And the last one that's a popular shellfish, mussels. And mussels often have this black shell here, and here is the animal inside. Any animal that is a shell like this, shellfish, okay? Shellfish also a kind of food that uh, many people are allergic to. Poultry is another word for birds. You probably won't see the word poultry in the grocery store because in the United States, remember the general types of food? The only real poultry that uh, most people eat or many people is the chicken, okay? Uh, so in the grocery store, it'll usually just say chicken, right? and it usually looks like this when we cook it, or something like this. Now, the second most popular poultry or bird in the United States, particularly coming up as I look at my calendar in about two months, is this guy here, the turkey. And the turkey, we don't eat it so often, although you can buy it year-round. Uh, but it'll probably be in the chicken section of the grocery store. And here's what it looks when it's cooked. Very similar. Uh, depending on how you took the photo, you might not be able to tell the difference. When you're holding them, the big difference, turkeys are usually bigger than chickens. Okay? They taste a little bit different too, but they also taste very similar. Okay? Poultry, birds. Levels of cooking is always interesting. Many cultures do not uh, eat meat, for example, that has too much red in it. That is the blood. The big two, the big one, first of all, is beef. Okay? However, we have been told by food scientists and people who study food and health that you can also eat pork in the same kind of way. And what I'm talking about is this. So the degrees of steak doneness or pork doneness right, uh, as well, the level of cooking. So this blue rare is going to be the most rare, so the most blood, the most uncooked part in the middle. And then it goes rare, 
medium rare, medium. And you can see there's more cooking each time on the outside, less red on the inside until slowly, medium well, well done, it disappears completely. So if you prefer, if you come from a culture that's not used to eating meat that looks like this, you're probably going to want one of these two, well done or medium well, okay? But your friends uh, or people you know might also eat it looking like this, okay? So the levels of cooking. Typically beef, but contrary to what people still think, you can do something similar with pork. Fish is one of the things that we also eat, uh, as well as other countries, of course, raw, right? Uh, now, it's not super popular in the United States, historically, or as part of our custom, right? But because of uh, Japanese restaurants and sushi, right, the food sushi, we have begun to eat more of it. Raw means uncooked. And as I mentioned, sushi, that's usually what you'll see. You'll see something like this. You can see the raw fish, the fish eggs, the shrimp on top of the rice. Okay. Another way you might see it is like this with the roll here. And this might be salmon or possibly tuna right? and some vegetables and rice. Okay. So seafood in the United States, the only real food you'll see eaten raw. Unlike other countries such as France, where one of their popular dishes is beef served raw. Right. In the United States, it's typically just this sort of raw seafood. Now, red meats, when we talk about red meats, for example, if your doctor suggests or tells you to not eat so much red meat, they're not talking about rare steak. They're talking about a kind of meat that is red before it is cooked. And of the general types of meat, we're talking about these two, cows and pigs, right? Beef and pork. However, um, one thing that you will find if you use this link, red meat also includes animals such as lamb and veal and goat and bison and elk, okay? So if your doctor again suggests that you not eat so much red meat, you might want to uh, be very specific in talking to them. Right, well, I eat this and this and this, and they can let you know if you can eat that or not eat that. Processed meats. Processed here means anytime the meat is cut, smashed, or worked with so that it's very different from how it was when it more directly came from the animal. One of the most popular, if you eat pizza, is this, pepperoni. Okay. Another popular one, sausages. This includes also their sort of cousin hot dogs. Some children at schools, your child, right? Your child's friends might also bring meat like this. These are lunch meats, so we put them in between two pieces of bread. And it might be turkey and chicken and ham. Here's some bologna, here's some pepperoni. And so all of these meats are very processed. They're worked with a lot so that their shape, their structure, really changes from what the pork or beef was more directly coming from the animal. Another processed meat, this is a snack. Here's an example of what it might look like in the bag. This is called jerky. In particular, the most popular is beef jerky, but you can buy uh, turkey jerky and probably chicken jerky as well. This is dried and has seasonings and spices, uh, and then you can just snack on it. You don't need to put it in the refrigerator, okay? Many people like it. Some people don't. I am not a fan myself, um, but it is a kind of processed meat, very popular in the United States. Forms of meat you might see in the grocery store. This is ground meat. So you can also have ground turkey, ground chicken, ground pork. Ground beef is perhaps the most popular. And this is what you need when you are going to make a hamburger, right? This is very difficult to do by yourself without a machine. Another kind of meat here is shredded. Another word for that is pulled, 
you might see it in reference to a pulled pork sandwich, right? Really what we're doing is shredding this. So you can do this with chicken uh, as well. Okay? And it'll look like little strands, little pieces like this. Another popular form of beef is the steak, right? And here you can see there are T-bones, fillets, New York strips. So again, steaks by themselves are a category of beef, which is a category of meat, but there are different kinds of steak, right? These are just a few of them. There are probably a dozen or 15 or more kinds of steak. And also when we're talking about steak, we usually are referring to beef here. Now, if you go right next to this section in the grocery store, you might see a section here of fish. When we cut off a piece of fish, sort of like we cut off a steak, the word for that is fillet. Okay, so these are fillets of different kinds of fish. So when you go to the store, you might be able to buy a whole fish, but you might also tell them, I would like two uh, flounder fillets, or I would like two cod fillets. Those are two different kinds of fish. Some cuts of poultry. Remember, we're looking mostly at chicken here. One thing is chicken is often talked about in terms of white meat and dark meat. And it's really about the cutler of the flesh, of the meat. Okay. This is a breast, a chicken breast. And chicken breast is white meat. Right. If you cut it, you would see... Uh, the color is very different from this part of the chicken. This is a thigh, right? A thigh, uh, also usually referred to as part of the white meat. A leg or drumstick is another word. This is dark meat. And then here we have chicken wings, right? Chicken wings. Okay. And those are the little ones uh, up front that the bird uses to fly. Yes, chickens can fly. Cuts of pork. There are really just uh, three big important ones that people usually think of. Very popular is ham. Okay, And a lot of these names, a lot of these words come from where you get the meat on the animal. But we're not going to look at that today. So ham, often a big section like this, we cook this around certain holidays such as Easter perhaps, people might have it for New Year's, okay? And again, when you're referring to this, ham is pork, but not all pork is ham. So when someone says, would you like some ham, they're referring to something very specific, a very specific kind of pork, this kind. Another popular uh, cut of pork, is a chop and pork chops are sort of like the steak of pork okay uh, this one has a bone you can buy them without bones as well and the last one this is called a loin or a tenderloin and this one we usually cook it whole it's very long and then we cut it into slices when we are serving it other meats that are less popular in the u.s for most people although you will probably see them. This cute guy here is lamb, right? So certain countries eat a lot of lamb. You can find lamb in the grocery store uh, usually, but you'll have to look very carefully for it or you might have to ask. Another similar one, this is poultry that looks like turkey or chicken. It's a Cornish game hen. So look, this is one plate of food for a person. Cornish game hens are very small. It's like an individual person's chicken these guys you might see in the freezer section so squid and octopus right you can find those again not very popular in the united states for most people things that people hunt so here we have deer and we have pheasant as well all right, here are some links. Check out the links uh, all about what is red meat, a meat vocabulary, and the types of steaks. I hope this was interesting and helpful. Next time you're at the grocery store, check out the vocabulary they are using. Thank you, and have a great day.